I'm Ashley Weston. And I'm Vanessa Weston. And this video is part of my Ask AW series where I answer all of your questions about style, grooming, etiquette, dating, anything you want, I will answer. So if you have a question, leave it in the comments below or send me an email. So I have here a very special guest. Vanessa Weston, my twin sister. I'm older by two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I like to remind her of that. <laughs> yes, always. And so we're going to answer some of your questions today. Robert sent me an email and he asked a couple of questions. So I think this would be really fun to do rapid fire style. Okay. So I'm going to ask you the questions and on. you just, okay. just do the first answer okay. that comes to your mind. Okay. Okay. First up, do you prefer guys in chinos or jeans? Jeans. Both. <laughs> Why jeans? Uh, I just think they're more youthful and um, more stylish than chinos. I don't know. Chinos during the spring and summertime, jeans during the rest of the year, but only dark wash jeans. That's why I prefer both. All right, next question. What are your thoughts on black jeans? I like black jeans. I, I love think they're them. fine. Love them. Yeah, no problem. No complaints. It mm -hmm. goes with everything and yep. anything, just like a pair of dark wash jeans. Next up, not really rapid fire. It's more of an in-depth question, but let's see. All right, what are some good or stylish parkas to get out there? Do you think um, there's any well, stylish Well, Ash, ones? I live in the desert, so I'm gonna defer this question to you. In terms of good stylish parkas out there, there are none because parkas are meant for really subarctic temperatures, like freezing. So if you're gonna wear a parka, you're either gonna A, look like a wrapper, or B, it's gonna look like you're going to the like Antarctica or something. So really, it's a compl oh, only utilitarian item that you're wearing. You are not getting any mm -hmm. style points by wearing them. Now, if you want something that keeps you nice and warm and toasty, but you're not going somewhere that is freezing, then you definitely want to invest in an overcoat, which I actually have a whole video and article on overcoats, the best overcoats out there and how you should wear them. So definitely check that out. I agree. There you go. Overcoat. Overcoat, stylish and yes. practical. It keeps you warm and toasty. And if you want to protect more of your face, get a nice scarf and you're going to look sharp. Sharp. Why did I do like this? I want like this. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? I don't know. I'm like, what am I doing with my hand? It's like. <laughs> Kurt emailed me and he asked, when is it okay to wear hiking or Gore-Tex boots? Is there a look that would complement them? Well, in regards to wearing hiking um, or Gore-Tex boots, I think it has to be in the situation. So when you're hiking, you should wear the hiking boots and the Gore-Tex boots, if you're in a cold weather climate, going snowboarding, anything like that with winter sports, then that's when you should wear them. Any other time, I don't think you should wear them. Yes, so those types of boots are specific to what you are doing. You should only wear hiking boots when you're hiking. Yes. So definitely don't wear them in your everyday life, no. unless you're hiking every day and that's your job. <laughs> but don't be wearing them. Um, you did ask, is there a look that would complement them? Now here's the thing. Okay, this is what I'm gonna say. Cause we already agreed that you should only be wearing high tech or high tech, <laughs> hiking or Gore-Tex yes. boots in those specific settings. So. If you want to know what would complement them, here's the thing. If for everyday life, wear, if you want to wear a boot, you want to wear a nice casual lace up boot. Mm -hmm. That would be appropriate for everyday yes. kind of situations. Yes. And in that case, you wear a nice dark wash jean, you can cuff the jean at the bottom, and then whatever you want to wear on top, whether it be a t-shirt or a v-neck sweater with a collared shirt. All right, so, ooh. This is a really good one. Ooh, juicy. Yes, it's by Nathan. Nathan, this, you're gonna love this one. It's okay. real good. Okay. okay. Prepare yourself. Nathan sent an email and he asked, I have a question about a girl. I met this girl 10 years ago in college and have been in love with her ever since. We've loosely kept in touch over the years, but she's always had a boyfriend, so nothing ever happened. A few weeks ago, she randomly asked if I wanted to get dinner, and of course, I said yes. Okay. On the way to dinner, I found out she recently broke up with her boyfriend. 
I'm thinking that now's my chance to officially ask her out, but there's a problem. I accepted a job offer in NYC and will be moving there in a few months. So I guess the big debate I'm having is, should I tell her how I feel or not? Ooh, that's a hard one. I'll let you answer this one first. Okay. Um, I think that one's really hard, Nathan. I would not like to be in your shoes, but um, I want it personally, especially because you are moving to New York and it would then turn into a long distance relationship if things did work out. Um, I've tried long distance dating and it has not been successful and to go into a new relationship and then have to do the whole long distance thing and put all that strain, it's not a fun experience. So for me, I would say no. I disagree. Nathan has been has had the hots for her for 10 years. This is his chance now. She's finally single. And I really, he's not gonna move to New York for a few more months. So I think that, look, don't tell her how you feel, but tell her that you're gonna move to New York and just start dating. Like, just go on the date, see how you guys, you know, gel mesh, together, yeah. mesh together. Just see see how, where it goes because you've only known her as a friend and it's very different. Women are very different when they're in a relationship versus like a friendship. That's very true. So, that is very true. I think honesty up yes. front is key. If you mm -hmm. are going to take that risk and, um, and go for it, then just be honest that you are moving to New York mm -hmm. in a couple of months and Explore it. Explore it. Go on a few dates. You might even learn that you've dodged a bullet, that she is not who you want to be with. And then at least now you know that you know that you asked her out after wanting to for 10 years. You finally asked her out <laughs> and you did it and you know your answer. You know that she's either a complete psychopath or maybe you find out that you really like her. And then you'll take it from there. You'll figure it out from that point. But at least you know now. It's not nagging in your head. Right? Yep. I agree. Wait, why do you agree now? Well, because I think if you are honest up front, then at least you're setting yourself up more successfully with in terms of venturing into the whole dating um, aspect with her. So if you are honest up front, then fine. I just prefer my preference in terms of, or my opinion on uh, long distance relationships. That is a no, no, they don't work. There you go. This video is part of my Ask AW series where I answer, well, this time we answered. Yes. We answered all of your questions about style, grooming, etiquette, dating. If you have any more questions, then please put it in the comment section below or send me an email and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks so much for watching and Vanessa, I hope you had a good time. I had a wonderful time, so much fun. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and if you like this video, Show both of us that you love <laughs> it by giving it a thumbs up. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.